Colin and Sam up front. And in between the pipes, looks like we're gonna go with Camden at again. All right, folks, time for some Dundas Blues hockey. Mickey with the face-off win. Puck sticks in the ice. And it's out to Ken Reed. Reed up to Lewis. Coming in one on four. Otis just gonna get that puck in deep. West Anger tries to bring it out, cut it back. That puck is a little bit wet and sticking on the ice. Colin's gonna deke around that guy, give himself some space. Oh, drops it back to Otis. Otis to Kaner. Kaner gonna go cross ice to Sammy. Tate down low. Lewis, or Mickey, sends it back to Otis. Otis fighting off their number seven, 77. 777, the Flying Aces can appreciate that with their little gambling connotations of their name. All right. Sam Tate's gonna take this puck. He's gonna pass it. Otis up to James. We can't control it and it comes back to Colin. Colin's gonna jam on the brakes, go around one guy, two guy, pulls it in and sends it in. A solid first minute and a half for the Blues. All the action in the bad guys end. No shots to show for the pressure yet though. Roblard fighting down in the corner. Comes out with it, knocked down. And West Niger tries to get it out and they are capable of doing that. Connor Rudy, cross ice, sends it in. And West Niger is gonna ice it. We're gonna get our first whistle of the game. And that puck's gonna go down for an offensive zone faceoff. Hawkins, Peters, and Wozchuk coming out. Still tied at zero, still waiting for our first shot. Nice faceoff win. West Niagara pokes it off of Harrison, sticking out of the zone. The Blues clear, the Blues crash back down into the offensive zone. Henry Hawkins, first one of the puck, causes a Hard pass, it's a turnover. Hawkins can't quite get it on the forehand. And now he does, and he sends it in. But West Nagger's there to turn it back around. They come up. Nope, Henry says no thank you. He pulls it back and Henry's gonna take it to the corner. Oh, and we knock them down. We don't get the call. Henry sets it up, shot going wide. Not sure if Tommy's gonna count that as our first shot of the game. Sam Tate keeps it in. And West Niger tries to get it out. Colin keeps it in, pokes it over to Roblard. Roblard finds himself some space. Goes around, one guy, two guys. Can't go short side. Tries to the wrap around. The goalie gets the paddle down. I think they got it poked off our stick. And West Niger is gonna clear it out and it's gonna Roll down, but not for a nice. Or Colin's gonna pick this puck up. He's gonna try and go through two guys. And nobody wants the puck, so Colin comes out with it. He comes in, he uses the skates as a oh, puck just flows through everybody. Otis just fights a man off, gets it back. Connor Rudy from the top of the slot gets the shin pad, and West Nagger breaks out. One on two. Guys are much more disciplined in terms of going off on a potential offensive zone play. I remember back when I played, that was not when I was going to the bench for a line change. That was an automatic go and try and get a goal. All right, Ken Reed's got the puck here and he sends it up to Otis where it hits the skate and it's gonna bounce back the other way. And now Wes Nagger comes in. Colin says, no thank you, pokes it off their stick and sends it up to Mickey. Puck back, down Colin gets it out. Back to Mickey, deja vu all over again. Poked away by West Niagara. And they're gonna come in our zone and drop it down. Where Colin's gonna pick the puck up. Colin's gonna fight off their guy. He's gonna send it up to Otis. Otis around one guy, pokes it up to Mickey. And West Niagara's able to grab it and send it back the other way. Mickey with Otis. Otis. Cuts in, shot, ooh, nice wrist shot, just up over the bar. 
had his spot pick, pass in front. Nobody there. An outbreak. West Niagara. Gilly pops it up. All right, we got Andrew Stevenson. Nice pass to Kostandoff. Kostandoff's going to grab it. He's got a little bit of time. He's got his head on a swivel. Nobody's coming near him, so he's just going to keep owning it. Tries to get it in front. Knocked down by number 18 of West Niagara. Shot-ish. Not really. A little worried the goalie didn't know exactly where that puck was. All right, folks, here we go. Dylan Harrison up to Henry Hawkins. <laughs> Through the referee. And they dump it into our zone. Four and a half minutes to go here in the first period. Still no score. Still not really a shot. Still not really a scoring opportunity. And a puck bounces off the net skate. But no harm, no foul. Peters struggling for the puck. Roblard in there too, dumped down. We got a high stick. Henry's gonna go get it though. Henry fighting with their guy. That's knocked off the puck and down. Mace has got it. Mace is gonna send it in deep. Henry's gonna come out of the zone. One change. Henry's gonna go down as our forwards change. We're gonna try and cause a turnover here. Henry battling with number 10. Mickey coming in. Henry tries to come out with it. They bounce it off the stick. And they're gonna try and pass it off. Kane Reed's Pulling it, he sees Henry there, he gets it out of the zone, gives it to Henry. Henry, top of the circle, shot. And it's barred down for his second beauty goal of the game. Earth Day. Bar down, Hawkins. All right, folks, one nothing here. Put my phone away as Joe's got the camera on me. And just sending the YouTube link to my dad. Pad saved by Danette. Kaner's got it. Kaner with that beauty pass that sent Henry in there. Great job of patience to let it. Henry clear the zone and then set up. Otis has got it here. He curls back behind their net. Two West Niagara players. Otis comes out with it though. Cross ice to Connor. Connor tries a shot. That hits the shin pad and they're gonna break out. Looks like we got an angle on them. We got Stevenson back here too. A poke check by Connor, and they just send it in deep. Try and get it out in front, no luck. And Otis is gonna pick this up. He's got James too. Two on three, James coming down. Bounce off the boards, can we get to it? Almost, whoa, everybody's down. And we've got a whistle. But, the net came off. The net came off, folks. Maybe? That's what we're gonna go with. No penalty. So we're gonna, we're working under the assumption the net was off of his moorings. Probably protecting the goalie too as he got run over by the goon, James Kostandoff. All right, back to Samuel Gillis. A shot all the way through. Blocker, Robular up top. Oh, just up over the bar. Oh, almost got our second one here early on. Roblard tries to get it down low to Kostandoff. Riley's fighting for it. Samuel Pinch shot. Doesn't get a whole control of it and it bounces out. All right, cleared out by West Niagara all the way down. And another icing on West Niagara. So, 2.09 left here in the first period. We've got a 1 0 Blues lead on a Henry the Hawkins goal. Peters, Wozchuk, and Hawkins up front. Tate and Gillis on the back end. Mickey with the draw to Henry. Pass that in front. It's in Missy skate. Mickey's skates. It's down low. No, everybody's fighting for it. They try and get a, their guy out. It does come out. And uh, back down our Blues go. That puck had just gotten out. Nice pass on the tape by West Niagara, they'll come down two on one. Cullen with a good poke check. Mace has got it, Mace sends it up to Henry. West Niagara back the other way. Send it down into our zone. Sammy Tate's on it. 
He's got it. He's going to jam on the brakes, go the other way, go back the other way up to Kane Reed. Kaner up to Mickey. Mickey's able to get it out, and he's going to try and get it to Henry. Henry, one on one with the D, takes it in and around, passes it out in front. Oh, they are able to hold Kaner's stick off, and we don't get the shot on net. Henry pulls it away from their defenseman, dangling around in the corners, fights another guy off, drop pass to Kane. Kane gets it back oh, right up over Henry's stick to Stevenson, a shot, hits a leg, and West Niagara is going to come out two on two. Pretty close to an offside. We don't get the call. Loose puck cam, kick save on a soft loose puck shot, but had to act quickly on it. Here we come out, Otis with Roblard. Nice little hook, but the puck bounces right on the low bird's side. He did a little drop past Otis and into the pants of number 11 of West Niagara. James picks the puck off and keeps it in the zone. 15 seconds to go here. Blues leading one nothing. Four seconds left. All right, it's one nothing Blues after one. Hold on one sec, folks. Uh, Tom's sporting a beautiful new Deacon Dangle hat here. Let's look, look at the great merchandise available at this hockey tournament. Just so you guys know, not all of you will look that good in a hat because he's a much more handsome person than most of you. All right, give us the shots, buddy. The shots are 4-3 for the other team. Whoa, 4-3 for, for the other team, but what's the score right now? one nothing Dundas. All right, there we go. Thanks, Tom. That's fantastic. So much more competent than Rob Harrison. It is really, really shocking how much better he is. And more handsome. All right, so looks like we're going to start with Otis, Brandon, and Kaner. Gillian Samuel on the back end. Brando right off the draw. Pad save shot. Kaner, oh, no. <laughs> Can't bear the rebound. We were right there. Had the goalie out of position. Just couldn't get it into the back of the net. Brandon Rice going to send that one around. Otis bears down on the, their guy. The puck bounces out. And Otis is going to come away with it. He's got Kaner. Up to Kaner we go. Kaner and Otis with Brando trailing on the far side. Kaner's just got an edge on this guy. He gets it in on the front of the net. Poked away. Kane's got it. He sends it back to Brandon, but they cut off that pass. Rice down in the corner, puck is loose. James pestering and it sneaks away. Tate, great poke check, piece it out. Okay, here we go, watch check, Lewis. Oh, loose puck, James up high. Nice shoulder save by the keeper there. All right, Mickey pulls out that puck out of the skirmish, sends it back to the point to Connor Rudy. Cooners, Connor sends it back down. Back out in front, Riley's there, tries a backhand. No cover though, Blue's still got the puck. to stand off, dancing around, making defenseman miss. He's looking, tries it out to Mickey, just can't get it on the tape. And it looks like finally West Niagara's gonna get that puck out of their zone. Puck deep. Dumped down deep into our zone. Connor up to Riley. Riley's soft pass to Mickey. Mickey's gonna move it on down, get knocked off the puck. I do not see a referee's hand up for icing or for a penalty. So we're just gonna let the play go on, despite both of those being completely acceptable calls based on what happened there. Puck in front to Hawkins, just goes right through the top of the face. And West Niagara bikes back out. Harrison, oh, guy in front, Cam, big save, call, Henry pulls it out. Shot, high bouncing puck, Gilly's got it. First real test for Cam today, and he missed big save, and we're gonna take an ice on this one. 7.30 to four to go in the second period with your Dundas Blues with a one nothing lead. Rice, Reed, and Lewis are the offense. All right, here we go. Brando pokes it 
right up ahead. Sammy's gonna pick this one. He's gonna send it up to Otis. That hit their defenseman stick, so we do not have an ice, and the Blues are gonna come down hard on the puck. And there's Otis causing a turnover. Kaner behind the net. Kaner tripped, not called. Puck loose. A lot of guys on the ice. Brandon's coming out with it. Everyone was getting down low. And number nine from West Niagara is gonna try and come out with it. Colin with the poke check away. They poke check it away from Colin. Pass up by Kinner to Otis. Otis out in front. Kinner top of the circle. Low wrist shot. Pat save kick to the corner. Brandon down low. A lot of battles down in that corner. Bodies everywhere. Otis can't get it out in front. Kaner pressure on their guy, keeps it in. They, they gotta be tired, folks. These are, the, these are the opportunities. Oh, puck comes out. Otis is gonna take it back up and we're gonna take it down. I'm gonna slap shot deep in. Oh, a funny bounce, hits the goalie skating, almost went in. They've still got this same line out here. It's been about 90 seconds now. They gotta be tired. Hopefully we can cause enough pressure to get ourselves a goal or at least a, uh, a power play. All right, unfortunately it looks like they're finally gonna bounce it down and not get our whistle. They are gonna get that change. Stevenson's knocked off the puck and you know what? After all of that, we get our penalty, we're power play on a little just poke in the corner. Andrew Stevenson drawing that penalty. Two minute power play for the Blues. Brown was Chuck and can stand up out there with Gillis and Harrison. 5.57 to go in the second period. The Blues still leading one nothing. They win that draw. Can stand off back to Gillis. Shot, tipped wide. James with the tip there. Pass out in front. Riley's got it on his tape. Can't get it through. Gillis pulls it back. It's rolling, it's rolling. He's thinking about it. It keeps rolling through, a little blocker push out by their goalie. The standoff fights for it. They poke it off our stick and they hit Gilly with it. Samuel's gonna pick it up. A little bit of pressure by their number seven. We're gonna take it back behind our net. Try and shake this guy. Finally do, James up to Mickey. Mickey's gonna bring it in. Riley's gonna go to the bench. Out comes Robillard. Mickey sends it out front. James is there. Oh, sorry, that's Mace. Mace has got it. Mace back to Gillis. Gillis, half a slap shot, a little bit wide. And around we go to Sam Tate. Tate keeps it in. Robillard covers his point for him. Robillard, great job, sends it back in. Off the backboards and in and around it goes where they're gonna fire it right into Colin Gillis. Pucks out, Colin's gotta hold it though. He's winning, we're out, we're clear now. Colin's gonna bring it in. Holding, holding, they're, they're giving him a little bit of space. He's taking time, he's waiting for the right pass. He's waiting on it, he's waiting on it. Passes it to Roblard, back to Peters. Peters over to Tate. What is this passing? Tate brings it low, sends it in front. Roblard just can't bring it home. Hawkins picks it up, tries to get it back in front of the net. They're, the puck is loose. I think Roblard might have just took a stick maybe in the good bits. Um, <laughs> Colin, uh, well, we got one guy going off, so again, this Kaner comes out. Roblard soft pass to Kane. Kane brings it to the center of the ice. That penalty is over, and the puck is out of play. Then we're gonna take a deep breath. 3.52 to go. One nothing Blues. Brando, Otis, Kaner. Brando off the draw, big shot, pad save. Two inches higher, I think it was in the back of the net, just caught the top of that pad. All right, the pressure from the Blues continuing to percolate. Oh, what do we got here? We got a net off again. Right around there, guy, shot, kick to the corner. Blues applying pressure. Connor's gonna keep it in, he's gonna send it back down low. Finally a pass out by uh, West Niagara. They come in, Stevenson's got him on a tough angle. No shot, puck bounces out front. It's an escape, it's loose. 
Stevenson, nice soft pass up to Rice. Rice with Lewis. Oh, no, silly puck. Gilly cutting through, Gilly has it! Oh, the thrill! All right, James with the pass. Folks, I've had the opportunity to have Gillen Harrison in my house for the last decade, and I think that was the most offensive moment of his hockey career. That was stunningly beautiful. Oh, that would have been a goal. A lot of smiles on the bench. Man, I think we all wanted that one. 2.36 to go here, still one nothing. Oh, Gilly. Puck sneaks past their defenseman. Riley's going to put a little bit of pressure. All right. Oh. Third guy goes down. Thought maybe Sammy was taking a penalty there, but no siree. Puck set loose. James chips at it. Bounces through two pairs of skates and let's go deep into our end. We're calling Gills is going to pick it up. He's got a little bit of time. He goes around there. One guy kind of whiffs at him. Goes around a second guy. He's going to build up ahead of steam here. Colin into the scoring zone. Shot and back of the net. Colin Gillis. What a beautiful shot. Two nothing Blues. 145 to go. And coach, if you're watching it, that would be a clip where I would say that's what we want to show the guys about where they should be shooting the puck from. All right, there we go. Nice goal by Colin. 1.45 to go, 2 nothing. Pass back. Oh, Henry just about chips it off of their guy. They're gonna pass it in front. Oh, that hit Rudy's skate. We got pretty lucky. We had, they had a guy hanging out behind that. Roblar blows the tire. They pass it. West Niagara shot. Cammy, glove save. Nice one. 116 to go. Reed, Rice, Lewis, Gillis, Gilly. Otis Lewis coming out here. Up to Brando. Tipped in and down we go. Caner pressure, Gilly keeps it in. Off of, bounces off of Gilly, Caner's gonna keep it in, just send it back down. 52 seconds to go in the second period. All right, bouncing puck. Otis oh, hits a leg. Uh, oh, what do we got here? I'm not sure here. Oh, they're gonna give us a trip? Guess so. Looks like it's gonna be Otis Lewis to the box with 33 seconds to go in the second period. That's a tough one. I'm not even sure what happened there. All right, here we go. Uh, Mickey on the draw, draws it back to the latest goal scorer, Colin, he fires it hard around the boards to their guy, Walsh. Walsh sends it back down. They've got the guy behind the net. They've got a guy in front of the net, but they send it back to the point where we poke it away. And Mickey's going to, oh, try and corral it. He's fighting three guys off. And Jane, oh, what are we doing here? Oh, they're going to call a hit to the head on Mickey there. That is, that's a, that's a call. They're not going to put it up. All right, the draw back to their point. Shot, puck loose. Collins got it. Five seconds left. He's going to just want to shoot it, and it's up and over the net. And that's the end of two. And so the Blues 
go into the third period here. Hold on one sec, I gotta talk to Tom first, most importantly. What do, you, what do we got, young man? The second period was 10 to 2 Dundas. 10 to 2 Dundas. Overall, that's 13 to 6 Dundas. 13 to 6. Okay. Issues that are not had in the Danette household and their 74 pound uh, kid. All right, so Blues are up 2 nothing with a victory. They will move to 3 and 1 in the tournament. Currently, there are two teams in South Muskoka and Woolwich, both at 3 and 0. We need Woolwich is up, scored 10 goals and given up two, whereas South Muskoka has scored 10 and given up four. Additionally, additionally, um, uh, Woolwich has. Uh, will be playing the 0-3 team. James Kostandoff having a little bit of fun here. Just pulls it all the way back and takes a few seconds off the clock as we trail 5-3. All right, they're gonna break in here. Five on three, James pokes it away. James has got it. James is gonna go for a skate and dumps it all the way down. And he's gonna make the change while the timing is right. And we're gonna change up the whole line. Roblard, Rudy, and Stevenson now. 55 seconds to go in the first penalty. 11.25 to go in the game. West Niagara's in. Roblard pressuring, battling, taking on two defensemen. We're gonna take, uh, what do we got here? Cross check on who? Wow. All right. Well, they take a penalty. So we will now be four on three with a face off in their end. I'm not saying Ryan Robillard was hooking that guy, but his stick was stuck in the guy's belly. So we're going to take that and uh, a cross check in front of the net. So interesting, interesting. So, so we get back to maybe a little bit of what this means is for, most important, the Blues still need to win. All right. They're, they're cutting in here. Stevenson's going to square this guy up. Cam's got a line on it. Pad save into the corner. Pass back to the point. It bounces up over their stick and out. 17 seconds left in the first penalty. We're going to ice it all the way down. And we're going to change. We've got Hawkins, Samuel, and Gilly. Five seconds left in our first penalty. Otis is going to come out. Henry. Gets a wheel, sends a shot in off the blocker and into the corner. Otis pressures down and we're four on four. Four on four, Otis pulls it away here. He's battling their defenseman. 107 left in our penalty. Otis fighting four on four, puck out. Henry just can't go at it, there guy gets it. Okay, now we're back to even strength. I'm very, or we're up and we're on the power play here. So the Blues are on the power play. 10 minutes ago, up to nothing. Gill and Harrison jams on the brakes. Henry, Brando, oh, and we're taking offside. Oof, not good. All right. So, what we're going to need is a loss, and then we're going to, what will happen is you'll have two, three, and one teams who did not play each other. So then we're going to go to the goal four goals against differential. Based on my math, if we are capable of getting a third goal here, we will guarantee that if South Muskoka loses, we will be through. Now, they're gonna be a pretty big favorite in that game. So again, I think the number one thing we wanna prioritize here is a victory for the Blues, preferably of the shutout nature. If we give up a goal, we're gonna to have to be doing some math on the fly here, confusing everybody, including myself. Henry's gonna move it around, tries to get in front, hits the skate. They try and poke it away. Colin keeps it in. Colin pulls it back. Colin up to Henry. Penalty is now over. Puck is out of the zone. It's tipped. It will stay in their zone. And the Blues. Rice wins the draw. Lewis. Jim keeps that puck in. Kaner, clapper, shot, glove save. 
Nice shot by Big Red. Otis back to Connor. Back to Otis. Shot up and over the net. Andrew's going to pinch it down. Connor's going to send it back in. Blue's pressure continues to sustain. Kane keeps it in. Oh, puck bouncing, and they, they catch 19 here. Two on five. Down low, they dump it. Where Connor Rudy sends it back around the boards. Otis is going to race to that puck. Soft shot in. They fire it. Oh, Cammy save. First shot, post. And back of the net on the third try. That's a tough one. Two on, 8.13 to go. West Anger brings the puck back into our zone. In front, shot, pass saved by the net. Woo, just kept that one out. We're trying to chip it past there, guys. Can't get it out. Ice is tilted the other way all of a sudden here, folks. They try to get it in tight cam with another stop. Puck out in front. Mickey up to James. James is going to skate this one out and clear the zone. Gilly to James. Over to Mickey. Step on the puck, fall down. Henry's fighting for it. Henry kept it in. Great job by Henry there. Henry moves around the West Niagara defender. All by himself, the Hawk is fighting. Roblar comes in, picks it up, tries to get it back to the point. Mace is there. Back to Colin. He just sends it in. Henry's fighting their guy. We've got a whistle. Mace tries to get out in front. Henry pushing for it. Oh, tries to go short side. Can't get it up over the path. Mason Peters back out to Colin. The great pass. Hits a stick right into the goalie's belly. All right, Mace getting, getting into it a little bit. <laughs> Takes a punch to the face. So I don't know where the face-off's in this end if we just took an extra penalty. Anyway, all right, looks like we're short-handed for two minutes here. Still up two to one. 6.34 to go. Puck down into our end. West Anger gets it back to their point. Send it back in. Andrew Stevenson's causing some pressure. Causes the turnover. Kaner gets it up. Otis is just going to dump that out. And they're going to come down. We're going to get one, two, three guys off. Otis, nice. Oh, short side, almost gets it off the blocker. Great play by Otis there. Causing a whole bunch of havoc while shorthanded. Mickey in his case keeps it in. Mickey and Otis both fighting for it. Gilly's got it. The thrill sends it all the way down. And a great PK for the Blues so far. 50 seconds to go here. Mickey gets it out. We're just hanging three guys back. Mickey's causing all this commotion on his own. 34 seconds to go in this penalty kill. Gillen Harrison back off the boards to Kostandoff. Kostandoff's gonna go for a bit of a skate here. I think he's got a little bit of an edge here, but pulls it back, sends it to Harrison. Harrison a shot, just a bit wide. And we got 18 seconds left in the penalty kill. They try to get it out, but Mickey says, no, thank you. Shot in, pat save, and they pick it up. Eight seconds left in the PK. They got a guy floating high, but James cuts it off. 
We had two guys back anyhow, no worries. And that kills the penalty. 4.42 to go here. And we got a whistle. And I think that they're gonna take a too many men penalty now because uh, the, because uh, our guy cleared the box. Their guy cleared the box. Are we just blowing it dead? Okay, so they didn't get a penalty. Okay, so it turns out the guy who left the box will be serving the too many men on the ice penalty. So we're on the power play. There's a lot of weird crap going on at the moment, folks. All right, they try to dump it out. Colin pulls it back. Brings it in. Colin, just gonna, they're gonna let him walk it out and he goes up, oh, almost into the back of the net. With great patience by Colin there. They gave him time to think about it, so he did. Hawkins behind the net, tries to get it back to the short side. It's poked away. They're gonna roll it down. Cam's gonna go get it, stop it for Sammy. Sammy's got it here. Sam, soft pass, it's gonna go all the way to Kaner. Kaner's gonna bring it in. Roblar's gonna crash down on the net. Kaner, toe drag, bringing it around. Jams on the brakes, tries to get out to Hawkins. It's gonna roll back to Gillis. He's got a little bit of time. He goes around there, big guy. And Hawkins has it, sends it out in front. Hawkins, oh, goes back the other way and it's gonna come out to Gillis. Gillis gonna try it again. A shot, oh, blocker side, great shot there. Went right through there, guy. All right, Robler's got it. He's gonna send it down low to Hawkins. Can't get quite control it, and they're gonna try and get it out around the side. Kaner picks that off. Two guys behind the net. Kaner's gonna think about bringing it out. Kaner's gonna pull it back. Kaner's gonna send it back to Colin. He's in the slot. Colin, slot, slot. Ah. <laughs> Robillard, too much going on. To Hawkins. Hawkins sends it out in front. We can't keep it in. Oh, it's out. And so they're gonna to have to clear the zone. 12 seconds left in the power play. They try and clear, but Colin saw that coming. He pokes it away. Colin's gonna break in. Goes around one guy, two guy. They finally poke it away. Otis now fighting for it. We got our big guys down low. He sends it out front. The penalty's over. The pressure is not. Hawkins in and around. We keep it in. Lewis. Lewis tries to. Rapper, there's got no one at the, the point man's down, was changing. Otis knocks the guys off the puck. He's kind of tripped, we don't get the call. They're gonna try a center ice pass. They bounce it away. Stevenson's got it. Connor Rudy's got it. Up we go. They come back the other way. Shot, Cam, big save. Puck bounces in front, Cam gets the pad down. Simultaneously, probably need a, oh, puck loose in front. Riley's gonna draw some penalty. Cam's gonna go to the bench. Brando's gonna come down. Brando tries to get it to Otis. Otis has got it. He's pinched in the corner. We're gonna go to the end of the game. 126 to go. Waschuk, Kostandoff, Riley Brown. Samuel Gill, shot, his is something, bounces just wide. James putting a little bit of pressure. Gill, able to keep it in. Riley fighting too, Samuel hanging back on their high guy. Interestingly, we're on the power play. It's gonna be interesting to see if they choose to pull their goalie here. Riley's gonna come out with it. They knock us off the puck. We're fighting for it. James has got it. James tries to get it low. James again. James back of the net. Yeah. 
Um, that's a big goal. That's 3-1. Henry in front. Oh, puck loose. Looks like we got a cover. 40 seconds left here, folks. Kaner. Oh, Colin just can't keep it in. Think by my math, we really would like a goal here. Henry Hawkins cuts in. Henry in front. Robillard stop, big save. Collins gonna grab it. Hits the skate. Nice save by the goalie. Oh my goodness. Mickey on the draw. Loose puck. Gonna keep it in. We keep it in. Sammy Tate. Eight seconds. Shoot it. Sammy. In front. In front, two seconds left. Uh, all right, well, folks, good news. Blues with a 10-5 win. So, that's the good news. Three and one on the tourney, three one victory. What do we got, what do we got, Tommy? Shots were 27 to 13 Dundas. 27 to 13 Dundas, a three to one win. Joe, should we do a post game interview with Coach? We're gonna have, Joe wants a post game interview, so we're gonna have it with him. I'll be right back, folks. Uh, all right, get, folks. All right, Coach, we need post game with Peters here. <laughs> all right, Coach, how did you feel about that game there today? It's a good game. Uh, we uh, we stuck with our game plan, and uh, we knew it was going to be tough because it was a, a elimination game in in a way where we whoever lost that game was definitely not going on. Uh, so I thought we did good. I thought you know we and we got to the situation which we were in. We we dom we couldn't have really dominated that game anymore. Uh, but like the usual Dundas Blues, it was still a close game. Yep. And uh, we found a way to uh, ice it there at the end. A nice goal by James K. And yeah, I was uh, pretty happy with the overall effort. You know, I think if I look at, if I remember the stat sheet correctly, every single game we had over 25 shots and they had between 10 and 15. So a really pretty dominant tournament, just one outcome that maybe didn't go your way. But I think you gotta be happy that, you know, generally we're the better team every single game. We're doing good things. We're getting better, a little bit better every game. And uh, we've got uh, larger goals than the West Niagara tournament. There you go. Well, listen, Coach, I'd just like to congratulate you on a good tournament. Uh, my understanding just is that uh, if they lose one nothing, then it's going to go to the next tiebreaker. Otherwise, any other loss will get you through. So that will still be okay. But that that's why I was screaming at you for the fourth goal. Because <laughs> well, that would have guaranteed the, we made the tiebreaker. We were close there. I yeah. thought we were going to sneak one in. I didn't think uh, we, were, we thought no. about putting the goalie out. But... Uh, no. It was exciting anyways. It was great. Well, Coach, congrats and uh, enjoy your Saturday night. Thank you. One Thanks. last question. Are you driving to Orangeville? I'll be at Orangeville for 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Thanks, Ryan.